Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Samiksha, the thematic discussion on uh, the various current affairs. So, yesterday, lots of a speaker, Mr. Om Prakash Birla, has accepted for no confidence motion or no trust motion against the government. In this context, we will discuss about what is this no confidence motion as well and uh, whether uh, it is necessary at this moment or not, why the opposition party, despite having the so-called less in members, have moved this no confidence motion. What is the way to pass this motion? And so far, uh, since independence, how many motions have been passed? So we will discuss these things. Let's start with this. First thing first, no trust motion against the Modi government has been admitted in uh, Lok Sabha. Now, uh, yesterday it was admitted by uh, Mr. Om Prakash Birla, the Lok Sabha speaker. This motion was moved by uh, the deputy leader in Lok Sabha. His name was Gaurav Gogoi. Now, what Gaurav Gogoi said is, that despite we are not having the numbers, we wanted the Prime Minister to come to the Parliament and answer the questions that are uh, the pressing demands of the nation and absolutely that is Manipur incident. We all know that uh, ever since this monsoon session has started, it has been almost six days for now. Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has not given any statement. Uh, in that circumstances, the opposition party has been demanding that the Prime Minister has to give uh, a stand or he has to answer the nation through the parliament. So in this context, no trust motion has been passed. First of all, what is this motion? So it has to be remembered that in any house of the parliament, if there has to be a discussion on any uh, topic, the speaker of the chairman of the respective houses has to accept it. Now, how they will accept? They will accept through a motion. In the parliament, whoever are the members of the house, whenever they say that we want to discuss this matter, first they will raise it to the speaker and the speaker will say how many members are supporting it. Now, if the required members are satisfied, then the speaker may accept it and that is called motion. Since motions are nothing but to start to discussions in the house of parliament, uh, it is a procedure to follow. Now, no confidence motion. Now, how it is passed? This motion has to be supported by at least 50 members in that house and absolutely yesterday, 50 members, more than 50 members have supported it, including uh, the Congress Parliamentary Party Chair, Sonia Gandhi, as well as National Conference Farooq Abdullah and DMK's uh, TR uh, Ball. It shall also be noted that along with this no confidence motion which was passed or moved by the so-called uh, leader of, uh, deputy leader of the house, a BRS leader from Telangana also passed an another motion. Together there were two motions which were moved. As a result, uh, the speaker has accepted this. Now once it is accepted, what will be the next step? Within the next 10 days, after admitting this motion, the speaker should dedicate some time for discussion. Now this time may last for a few hours, it may extend for a few days, it may go for beyond a few days also. So no conference motion within 10 days. The time period for the speaker is 10 days to announce the date on which it is going to be conducted and that has to be conducted within the 10 days of what admitting. Most probably, uh, we are expecting this that the speaker may uh, can be an all-party meeting and he may go for no conference motion in the next two to three days. Now, why opposition party has uh, insisted on this? But before going into this, let us look at what is this no conference motion for our friends. Article 75 of Indian Constitution clearly says that we have parliamentary system. In the parliamentary system, there is Council of Ministers headed by the Prime Minister. Now, he is the head of the executive. In the parliamentary system, executive is always responsible to the legislature. How and where it was written? It was written in Article 75 or 164 in the state legislative assemblies uh, uh, respectively. Now, being the head of the executive, Prime Minister has to be answerable to whatever is happening in the government, they have to be answerable to the parliamentarians, through parliamentarians they are answerable to the uh, house or to the nation. So the nation is demanding what is the response of the prime minister or what is the thing that is happening in the Manipur. The prime minister is not coming to that. As a result, they are passing no conference motion. So first thing, Article 75 says that collective responsibility of Lok Sabha is there and that collective responsibility can be ensured by moving through Confidence motion or no confidence motion. Confidence motion is moved by the ruling party, whereas no confidence motion is ruled by the or passed by the opposition party. Now, uh, what is the difference between? There is one more motion called a censure motion. 
Now it has to be understood that in Article 75, the members of the parliament or the executives are collectively responsible to the legislature. This is known as collective responsibility. At the same time, they have individual responsibility. If some minister fails to uh, do their duty, which they are esteemed to do, then definitely they can move one motion known as censure motion. So in this context, we have to understand what is the difference between a censure motion and a conference motion or a no conference motion. Censure motion should state the reasons for its adaption. They should clearly say why they are passing this resolution or motion, whereas no conference motion doesn't require any such uh, statements. They can move with the support of 50 members. It can be moved. Censure motion can be moved against an individual minister or against the group of ministers. But no conference motion should be moved only against the entire council of ministers headed by the prime minister. Very, very important. Next, what happens if it is moved? If it is passed in Lok Sabha, the council of ministers need not resign from office. Rather, they have to take the responsibility of that minister who has not done that duty. Now, whereas if no conference motion is passed, definitely the council of ministers headed by the prime minister should resign. Now, with what majority it has to pass? It has to pass with simple majority in the respective house. The particularly, it is taken only in Lok Sabha that it has to be noted because it, Article 75 says they are responsible only to Lok Sabha, not to Rajya Sabha. Hence, no conference motion is only to Lok Sabha. That is what we have to understand. Now, we have the strength of 545 in that 273 members has to support this bill of no confidence motion in order to ensure that the government is stepping down. But looking at the numbers in the house of Lok Sabha, BJP clearly has this majority. At the same time, regional parties like YSRCP from Andhra Pradesh has supported the government, uh, BJP, saying that we are aligned with uh, uh, BJP in this no confidence motion. So, absolutely, in no way, BJP is going to get loosed or lost in this no confidence motion. Before going into uh, why, even though they have no majority, why did the opposition pass this? Let's look at what is the no confidence motion ever since or what is the history of this no confidence motion in Indian parliament since independence. The first no confidence motion was passed in the third Lok Sabha. It was passed by J.B. Kriplani against Jawaharlal Nehru government. So it was passed in the year 1962 or it was uh, moved in 1963. Ever since 1963 until yesterday, 27 no confidence motion has been taken place, but in none of the motions, the government was defeated. So this is one important thing that you have to understand. So in all the 27 times, the government has proved their majority. As a result, no confidence motion was not successful in Lok Sabha. Second thing that we have to remember, who is the first one to move this? J.B. Kriplani of the opposition leader has moved it against Jawaharlal Nehru. The third one is, uh, against which prime minister was this uh, moved? Was this no confidence motion moved for the maximum number of times? It is against Indira Gandhi. In her tenure, Indira Gandhi's tenure, almost 15 times, 1-5, no confidence motion was moved. Now you can imagine, out of 27 no confidence motions that have been moved since independence, in this 15 times belongs to Indira Gandhi. This was followed by Lal Bahadur Shastri three times, three times, PV Narasimha Rao three times, uh, and then uh, this is the thing, two times Moraji Deshai, and one time Raju Gandhi, and one time Jawaharlal Nehru. And this is, as far as Prime Minister Modi is considered, this is the second time that they are moving. One time they have moved in the year 2018, at that time TDP, uh, a regional party from Andhra Pradesh, TDP has moved no confidence motion against Narendra Modi government, but at that time the motion was not successful because they have the strength of 330 at that point of time. Similarly, the incident is going to be, or the result is going to be the same in the 17th Lok Sabha. So, so this is very important for prelims. So it was first moved against Jawaharlal Nehru government and uh, this is the only time uh, Jawaharlal Nehru was challenged in his third Lok Sabha by J.B. Kiplani, Indira Gandhi 15 times. And uh, the majority of the times are P.V. Narsim Harav, Lal Bahadur Shastri, each with three times. And then two times was moved against Moradji Deshai. And uh, this is the second time that Prime Minister Modi is being facing no conference motion. Now, when it was asked, J.B. Kriplani uh, in 1963 has clearly stated that why they are moving this no conference motion. So, Acharya Kriplani said, it is a matter of deep regret for me to move the motion against a government which is being uh, conducted with many of my old friends 
almost 30 years standing, but the call of the duty and the call of conscience are paramount and there can be no question of any sentiment here. So, Acharya Kriplani said that though they are, they are our friends whom we are together with almost 30 years, even then I am passing this no conference or I am moving this no conference motion, the reason is we are duty bounded and the government has to answer. In an egalitarian answer, Jawaharlal Nehru also said the same thing that yes, whatever uh, the government is there, they have to be tested from time to time even when there is no possibility of being defeated. So the same thing was followed uh, by the present opposition leaders. But before going into the present case, let's look at that. The rules of procedure of Lok Sabha specifies that after no conference motion is admitted, the speaker has to specify the date within 10 days. This is something which we have to remember. And since 1987, there has been six no conference motions. On four occasions, the debate started on the same date of the motion was admitted. The longest it has taken, the debate is for six days in 1992. So no conference motion was discussed for six days in 1992 after the Babri Masjid incident has taken place uh, during the times of P.V. Narsimhara government. And subsequently, the last motion that was moved against Prime Minister Modi was accepted three days after the motion was admitted and that was lasted for almost uh, 12 hours. So it was just for 12 hours, more or less the same thing is going to be happening. Now, even though the opposition do not have the majority, why did the opposition choose to go ahead with this no conference motion? In the words of Sheshi Taru, the member of parliament, member of parliament, he clearly said that this is one tactic to make the prime minister to come to the uh, house and answer to the questions that the opposition is uh, asking. Because whenever a conference motion or no conference motion is moved, it will be the responsibility of head of the council of ministers, that is the prime minister at the central level and the or chief minister of the state level to definitely answer the pressing questions that the opposition is asking and absolutely this is going to be one thing that we have to wait and watch what Modi is going to answer in this. So this is all what we have uh, in this no trust or no conference motion. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.